You're watching Life Report. Pro-life talk, real world answers. Life Report trains people to more effectively defend their pro-life beliefs while honestly examining the strengths and weaknesses of both sides. We're the show other pro-lifers may have warned you about. This is Life Report. Episode 100! I feel old. <laughs> Whoever thought we'd make 100 episodes? I didn't think we'd make 100 episodes. Really? I thought you would have thought that. <laughs> no, well, see, here's the thing. I was thinking about that. Is uh, This kind of st- was just an experiment. I actually kind of thought no one would listen and we would just try it for, <laughs> like, five episodes. That's not what you told us when you brought us on. You had all these... Dreams of Delusions grandeur. of grandeur. I yeah, know, yes. it's because I wanted you on my show. <laughs> I didn't really you think we'd make it this long. Well, I, just, I wasn't <laughs> sure because, you know, it was just, you know, for me, it was like this idea. Let's just like, what if this worked? But it was kind of like, you know what? I'm really terrible at marketing and stuff like that. And so this could be like five people check us out and we do this for a little while and seriously if that was all that it had been we would not still be here because but that's not yeah. how it turned out and it just not shows, how it turned out. shows that great ideas can produce great things yeah you know well, i guess i guess you know after 100 episodes again you know, i kind of look back we kind of ended up with a few niches which you don't get very often in the pro-life movement because there's so many people that have been doing this for so long but we ended up with the, you know we were we're the brutally honest guys. We're the ones that, I mean, we're not the only ones that talk about bad pro-life arguments, but we talk about it a lot more than everybody else. Um, (laughs) We're the only ones that I know that actually have like pro-choice people that are listening uh, and Way and cool. so so you get kind of the, this is the, the the response to that. You're and the then only one that has carry. We're the only one that has carry. I mean that's Why certainly an edge. That <laughs> oh my goodness. And we're kind of I mean trying to be the cool side of pro life. And there would be one that we're not the only ones trying to be cool in pro life, but, but we're, we're one of them. But we're the only ones who are cool. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're just good at it. No <laughs> comment. Um, but I actually calculated mm-hmm. up. I was just yesterday just because I had a couple of minutes. Where I was Calculate up. Do you know we have put out now seventy hours of free content? Oh my that goodness. is my which life. Is pretty cool. And <laughs> here's seventy hours. Well, no, I mean seventy, 70 hours. hours of my life. Like, that's seventy hours of her life. Gave. That's about that, three that days. Gave, that gave, that gave Actually, gave a lot more. Yeah, which, and here's the cool thing. That's what Grace says. She's like, that's three days. It's like, yeah. If, look, that's how fast people could catch up if you're starting <laughs> over from episode <laughs> one. Just three days yeah. of no sleeping, just <laughs> listening to a constant. Wow. That would no. not be difficult wow. at all. Um, <laughs> but here's where we're at. After 100 episodes, uh, I don't check stats like more than twice a year on this because honestly, it, it's like I'm always afraid I'm going to get depressed because honestly, if there's not that many people listening, we will shut this thing down. Um, but at, we now have five continents tuning in. We have people nice. from five continents. We are still looking for South America. And Antarctica. Nice. I bet so. we get Antarctica Antarc- before. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say good luck with that one. <laughs> J- Josh, I'll throw in a little Spanish, and one of you can throw in a little Portuguese, and then we'll get South America. There you what go. About, what do they speak in Antarctica? I think it's just a bunch of English scientists. That <laughs> I don't think anyone so li- does. Anyone English live in Antarctica? Accent. So if you know anyone that works in Antarctica Ooh, and we'll that, that is pro-life, please tell them about my show because I can't yes. wait for the day that I go to look at my stats and I see That'd we have awesome. a hit from Antarctica. <laughs> nice. We'll wait till the Big Bang Theory goes there again and they can, they can listen. I'm see what Five continents and we now have an average of 800 listeners every episode. Wow. That inc- wow. That's averaging out the episodes in the first 10 or 20 that not really anybody heard <laughs> wow. ever. But what's and oh, wow. here ever. Here's the weird thing to me though. What I would have expected is for us to have this very small, very dedicated niche fan base of people that, because like, you get a lot of pro choices aren't going to listen to this, obviously. A lot of right. pro lifers don't like me because, <laughs> you know, they don't want to. Because you're me, brutal. A lot because of I'm people. brutal. So you kind of ended up, I kind of expected us to have this very niche little fan base. But what I found was we have some episodes, like 10 or 20, they've gotten up to like 2,000 hits. I'm wow. not, but then wow. those people didn't listen to everything. Was it the so I'm episode sure. where we talked about Austin Powers? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. I, I've got to no go wonder they didn't keep reason. listening. Yeah, really. <laughs> so we have a very, for a, a lot of people are new, we have a very specific kind of group of people that I've collected for this. And so just everybody, just give 30 to 60 seconds about yourself. Maybe people start getting an idea of why I put you on. I mean, Liz, trained paralegal. That's true. Right? Not working as a paralegal, though. And for the first <laughs> time, Liz Goddard. That's right. This I am also Liz Goddard, a.k.a. Cool. Liz Seward, a.k.a. the coolest member of the show. 
Oh, no, yes. I'm sorry. I have to <laughs> disagree with that. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a lot of applause for that. No, it, it just is it my turn? Am I supposed headphones? to talk about yeah, myself? Yeah, talk about yeah. yourself. Okay. What is it? Um, oh, gee. Why are you here? I am here because I got a phone call from Josh, who evidently sent out a memo through some other pro-life friends of ours that he was looking for some young, spunky, smart, young... Funny. Um, opinionated yes. girls, <laughs> yes. and I was at the top of the list. Yep, <laughs> so true. Very there nice. you go. I'm young. I'm <laughs> I'm <funny>. opinionated. <laughs> I like to think I'm funny. I'm a college student. Good demographic there. Trained Com paralegal. Trained paralegal. This has been helpful. Yes, uh, my limited knowledge there has come out. I'm a communication student, so I like to talk. I know how to talk, and I like to bring in big words of strange theories that no one knows about because it makes me look smarter. <laughs> okay. Not, not, to me. not to mention you're very, <laughs> very attractive. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is going to get sick, I mean. <laughs> now that you're married, this well, is going to Well, I think we should switch over here to my husband All right. and let him give his uh, story. Besides being Liz's husband, tell us about yourself. That's not how it's uh, My out. name is Kyle <laughs> <true>. Goddard. <laughs> Notice the Goddard, Liz Goddard. Yeah. Yeah, um, we got it. I am co college graduate. <laughs> I actually graduated with a degree in business, so I get up in everybody's business. Um, Can we cut that oh, out of the show? <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> I um, uh, I've been involved with the pro life movement, um, doing um, education outreaches and doing um, campus debates and discussions and uh, trying to educate myself and others in the pro life issue for probably six years now. Um, I am the director of outreach of our local um, Fresno pro life um, organization, Right to Life of Central California. And um, I uh, I love to talk. <laughs> yes. And uh, I, I love to hear my own voice. I was gonna so say that. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this, so does it? <laughs> how how much better to employ those talents than on a podcast? Not sure how. Uh, we're going kind of clockwise, so I'm gonna do you last. I have been doing this for 18 years. Started a Teams for Life group. Led that for a couple of years. It's funny to see producer Grace running across the table to get me on her camera. That is really funny to me. That'll be behind the scenes audio one day. You'll see her in the background. It'll be great. Anyway, um, did Teams for Life for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Somehow Georgia Right to Life found out about me, hired me as their education guy, and I went around and did speaking for a couple of years, and then I moved here to Fresno with this idea of starting a podcast. Yep. And nice. somehow we the found dream. enough people that were like, okay, you can go do that, and we did it, and... I think it's been pretty cool. Now, I, I have to say, Josh has yep. international renown. That's right. He, right. he was invited to Trinidad, Trinidad. Mm -hmm. to speak on a speaking tour for their pregnancy centers out there. So that was, that's that was pretty, pretty cool. Big. And I did yeah. euthanasia debating in Holland, in the wow. Netherlands, which was very interesting. <laughs> I haven't been, I haven't been to either of those places. You should. Hmm. They're both interesting places. Yes. They're worth, they're worth going. Before, I mean, before Holland eventually gets flooded finally because they're you know they're below <laughs> sea level. You know, it's really yeah. interesting. It's interesting. Anything, Carrie, you you bring a very different dynamic to I'm the show. Crazy, you are crazy, <laughs> crazy, awesome. <laughs> but it's it's amazing how many fans when they write in are like, I'm so glad Carrie's a part of the show because see, because you are the most different from from myself, Kyle, and yes, Liz, which so. is why we'll find out later on when I lose the quiz. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ahead of me. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I am a youth pastor, which kind of brings in my ability to work with teens, because according to everyone else on the podcast, I am not young. Where do I fit that? <laughs> so old. <laughs> yes. I'm 31. It's so mean. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no. Wheelchair, here we come. Meanwhile, <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, so just joking about that one. Um <laughs> No, but when we first got started, I was the director of the Irma Network, which is a post-abortion outreach, and I think that's one of the reasons why I was asked to be a part of this was because of my history and my past with abortion and, um, you know, the, the time that I've worked with women who have been through that as well. Yeah. Um, I do also share something with Liz. I have a communications degree and, and do a lot of public speaking, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, so that's kind of... And now... I'm, you guys think I'm old, but I will share with our audience that I am pregnant. <laughs> so, Yay! yeah. Yes, for those who've been listening to us, it has been a um, 
Something we've really yeah. worked for. Oh, that was delayed. It's really Thank not you. any delayed better reaction. than what we just did. So <laughs> right. I don't know why I did that. So, yeah. So, um... I guess that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were thinking we got to do something different for episode 100, and I don't want to do what everybody else does, which is basically the highlights of the best of what we do. I think. Why didn't we do a highlight reel? <laughs> we could have. It just seemed like <laughs> if you listen, then you can hear all that stuff. I think we have pretty much like me a pretty standard. We we're talking a lot about how to have effective dialogues, how to think mm-hmm. better. Uh, how to f- find common ground, how to use current events. To, to, I mean, there's yep. these are the things that we pretty much do. I don't want to spend 20 minutes talking about that. So instead, we're going to do something that we've never done. We're going to do a quiz. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Th- that, that whole think better thing goes out the window right we're now. We're going to have a competitive <laughs> quiz, and I know you guys are going to be embarrassed because I bet you're going to get a lot of these wrong. Yeah. That's okay. Well, I will share with our listening and viewing audiences that we've already had one quiz for today. It was... What have we done? What issues do we need to work on in oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. in our oh, production yeah. of the show? <laughs> right. The pre pre show meeting was pretty pretty rough on everybody, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, here's how this is going to work. I've got 12 questions here. I will do all 12 of them if there's time. I'm going to we're going to try to get this moving fast. And I just I'm just going to acknowledge right off the bat this is a little weird. We're going to have for people that are very new to this, you you're, you're going to have to get you. This is it's a weird thing. We have fun together. Mm-hmm. And we purposely try to have fun together. We are normal people, even though we are talking about a really depressing topic. Mm-hmm. And and so b- having fun and being competitive about a quiz about the subject of abortion, I know is probably a little weird to, to our newest people coming to the show. And I'm just going to just acknowledge that right up front. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to have fun. We have fun together. But it's going to be educational. I could have quizzed you about something else, but I want people to to be educated, and mm-hmm. I want you to play along in in your car or wherever you are listening <laughs> to this or on YouTube. Play along, see if you can beat Kyle, Liz, and Carrie on this. As long Uh-oh. as you're not googling so while we go, because that's cheating. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like. They have not been given the questions ahead of time. I've been yeah. very careful to keep this a secret. Five out of twelve of these questions are listener. Uh, Submitted, which is really cool. Yeah. You had your hand up for some reason. What I did, wanted to know if we get any lifelines. You don't get any lifelines. Oh, Dang it. it. But <laughs> you don't get any penalties for a wrong answer. You get a point for a right answer. Okay, cool. First person to raise your hand gets to gets to you know guess first. <laughs> if you're wrong, zero points. Next person gets to guess. So there's really no reason for it. Should we raise our hands this way or this way? Whatever. <laughs> as long as I can see you. <laughs> This is going to be pretty much Jeopardy style. Prize, whoever wins gets lunch on me after we're done recording. And at this point, everybody's pretty hungry. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. 